So in this question, we're asked to use the de derivative of cosine x to prove that the differential of sec x is sec x tan x. Again, this is a standard proof you should learn. So, uh, for part a, if we set our function y is equal to cosine x, uh, sorry, y is equal to sec x even, we're going to try and differentiate this. So y is defined as cos x to the power of negative 1, because sec is 1 over cos. So dy by dx, using the chain rule, we can bring down the power of negative 1, we can differentiate cosine, which is negative sine x, and we can reduce the power by 1, so we have cos x to the power of negative 2. Now tidying that up, the negative and the negative become a positive, so we have a sine x on the numerator, and it's divided by a cos squared x on the denominator. Now, that this is a sine x on top and a cos x multiplied by a cos x. And there's a hidden one here. You can think of a hidden one. So, 1 over cos, this part here is sec. So this is sec x. And the sine x divided by cosine x is a tan x. So we've got a sec x multiplied by a tan x. So our dy by the x is that which we were asked for in the question for four marks. Now it gives us a curve, c, and it tells us it's got equation y is equal to e to the 2x sec x, and x is between negative pi by 2 and pi by 2. Find an equation for the tangent at the point where it crosses the y-axis. So, at the point where the curve crosses the y-axis, so to start with, for part b, let's write our curve down, y is equal to e to the 2x sec of x, and where crosses y-axis, well, what's true there, if a curve crosses the y-axis at this point here, uh, sorry, it crosses the y-axis even, it would be like here, x is equal to 0 at that point. x is equal to 0 at that point. So we know that x is 0, so we substitute that in. y is going to be e to the 0, sec 0, and sec 0 is 1 over cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1, 1 over 1 is 1, and e to the 0 is also 1, so y is 1 at that point. So our coordinates are 0, 1. Now, we've got our function y is equal to e to the 2x sec x, and we're going to try and work out the gradient of the tangent in the form y subtract y1 is m x subtract x1, where we need a coordinate on the tangent uh, and the curve, and we've got that here, and we also need the gradient. So we're going to differentiate to get the gradient, uh, the curve. So you should notice that's a u and that's a v, it's a product. So our u is equal to e to the 2x, our u dash is therefore 2e to the 2x, our v is equal to sec x, and from part a, our v dash is sec x tan x. So uh, dy by dx using this is uv dash plus vu dash. Okay, so just substituting in, it's these two multiplied together, so e to the 2x, sec x, tan x, um, plus these two multiplied together, so 2e to the 2x, sec x, like that. So we can factorise out an e to the 2x and a sec x, and we'd be left with a tan x here, plus a 2 here, like that. So dy by dx is equal to that, and we want dy by dx at a special point, namely x is 0. So at x is equal to 0, we substitute that in, so it's e to the 0, sec 0, which is 1 over cosine of 0, tan 0 plus 2, and all of that would come out in the wash to be 2. Now, we wanted the equation of the tangent, so we've got the gradient is 2. Now, at this point, just to check I haven't made a mistake, what you could do is go up to your original function, which is here, and you could say d by dx, you could ask your calculator to differentiate e to the power of 2, x, sec x, which is actually, uh, would be 1 over cosine x, so you could just write over cosine x, just 
like that. And you could substitute in the value we said, the x value um, 0, wasn't it? So you substitute x is 0 and see what you get. And you get 2. So you know you've done it right because through my working I also got 2. So we've got everything we need here. So we state that y subtract y1, which we said was 1, is going to equal 2x subtract 0. So therefore y is equal to 2x add 1. Simplifying and tidying that up. Looking up here, it says find to two decimal places the x coordinate of the stationary point of C. The x coordinate of the stationary point. So for part C, we're solving dy by dx is 0 for a stationary point. So our dy by dx was this thing here. So we're going to make that equal to 0. So we've got e to the 2x over cosine x. I, I'm using that instead of uh, sec x. So um, that, and then multiplied by tan of x, add 2. All of that is equal to 0. OK? So it's this thing here equal to 0. Now, e to the 2x is always positive. So I can divide both sides by it. And it will it, it will be fine because it can't equal zero and it'll be gone. And so I'd have a tan x add two divided by a cosine x equals zero. I can multiply both sides by cosine x, so tan x add two is equal to zero. And then subtracting two, tan x is therefore equal to negative two, and therefore x is the inverse tan of two. So if our calculator is in radians mode and we type in the inverse tan of, uh, sorry, negative 2 even, my mistake, that should be negative 2 there, of negative 2, we get ourselves the following, we get that x is equal to, uh, it was negative 1.107, negative 1.107, so it asked us for, um, to two decimal places, the x coordinate of the stationary point, make it to two decimal places and it's in our value so x is equal to negative 1.11 to 2 dp and this is actually in our range between our in our domain between these values here and it says there's only one value of the stationary point so we know we're done at that point